everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. If you guys have watched my How I Hold Part 2 video, you guys have heard from me saying that I got something from Fendi while I was in Hawaii in that video. So in this video, I will share what I got from Fendi. Um, here's the box. Uh, this is my first purchase ever uh, from Fendi, so I was quite excited. And the box is pretty sturdy and it opens up just like Chanel classic flap box comes magnetic closure so it's quite luxurious there's a lot of tissue papers in there so the ribbon let me show you guys quickly if you guys are wondering so here is the ribbon all around the same the bag in question is right here it's the Fendi Peekaboo size medium the color is magenta so I really think that you guys cannot see the true color um, in this poor lighting um, it's very vibrant deep pop of color magenta it's a just magenta color I, that's what I can describe it's more like purplish pink I can say I, I brought this to compare side by side because they're both pink color. This one, Louis Vuitton Montaigne MM, this is the color Dahlia they call. It's more like reddish pink, I will say. This is more like purplish pink. Um, you guys all know that I love pink. <laughs> color pink is one of my favorite, top favorite uh, color. So that is that and there is the size micro which is doesn't even fit my iPhone 6 plus I tried it on and it doesn't fit at all um, Size mini which is one smaller size than this one. I mean the size before this one That one looks pretty small, but it fits quite a bit but it only comes with lambskin so I yeah, I went with this calf skin, that's it. And this is more durable, so I went with it. And the size medium, this one, I'm really happy with because you can put everyday um, items with you in this handbag. And you can also put extra stuff like shawl on the top of it and the bottle, uh, bottle of water in it, something like that. So I'm happy with the size. And I just... I mean, this bag, I actually wasn't really thinking 100% to go for this handbag before I went into the store. And I went to the store like three times, I think, to look at it again and again uh, while I was in Hawaii. And also, before then, I actually was eyeing on this handbag for over a year now. Um, but, you know, you guys know that I love Louis Vuitton and Chanel. So always Louis Vuitton and Chanel will, you know... Uh, go first so yeah I was looking at Celine also but they didn't have Celine in Hawaii uh, so far I mean I didn't see the store so I didn't get to go I was thinking of getting Nano or Micro something like that something uh, you know um, like just branch out out of Louis Vuitton and Chanel is like comfort zone, right? Because I'm comfortable with Louis Vuitton and things like that. But I wanted to explore and go to another brand and try them on. So anyway, so I went to Fendi, but I wasn't like, I was like 80% like love the bag and things like that. And, but I was like thinking other handbags at Louis Vuitton and Chanel and things like that. So I was not really quite not sure, but I want to shout out, uh, give a big shout out to my friend Kevin uh, from Louis83 here on YouTube. I'll leave his uh, channel down below. But uh, he, I got to chat with him a lot while I was in Hawaii. Um, anyways, uh, he was just talking about Fendi and his essay and things like that. It kind of inspired me actually to go see Fendi once again and really think about it again things like that and also I want to give a, another big shout out to my gorgeous friend uh, Jacqueline from Hello Been Me right Hello Been Me 
yeah anyways i will leave her channel down below also and i quite a, uh, i chat with her quite a lot uh, about handbags because we both love handbags so much so um yeah so she was telling me about like you know the bag and we we're talking chatting while i was chatting with them i just you know i wanted this bag more even so so i went into the store and every time i look at peekaboo just in general i was so drawn to it they are so well made that's what i would say the craftsmanship is just just perfect love it very very much it's different than chanel and louis vuitton i would say it's just a uh, very very perfect every corner every detail on this handbag it's just fantastic i think fendi makes very very great great quality items uh handbags and i know they're known for the for 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 right yeah the mings and things like that but they're known for a peekaboo also i absolutely love this handbag and it, it came with this dust bag i didn't even show you guys that so here is the fendi right there and it's a drawstring dust bag it's the color black it also comes with this shoulder strap which is always the plus for me and it has the five feet <laughs> on the bottom so I wanted to show you guys how it looks on me also in this video so you guys can get an idea and I didn't really get to find lots of videos on this handbag uh, when I was searching for it before let me see I don't think this is right Sorry guys, it's taking <laughs> quite a time to figure it out. Um, so one word that I can say is just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeously made. <laughs> really appreciate the craftsmanship on this handbag. Love it. Let me show you guys uh, the things that I am. I have today I'm wearing it so let me show you guys quickly how you know what things can fit in here and you guys can see closer look of this bag let me see one more time there is the receipt inside the receipt comes with this envelope it says Fendi and receipt looks like so I will leave the measurements and the price and things like that in the down below so you guys can all check them out. So inside is suede. It's not microfiber. They said it's a suede. Like the whole lining is all suede. It's very luxurious to the touch. Touch it. That's it. And in the middle, there is a um what would you say like this whole metal thing is what the bag is um the center of the bag and that's how you're holding the bag it's the middle of this handbag like so so that's quite interesting for the bag and here is the clasp in the front it goes like so it's pretty cool to me and you just go like that and actually i didn't take the plastic uh, stickers off from this handbag so sorry guys um, I think I'll leave that stickers for a while until I feel like it and there's stickers all over here also so here on the other side is exactly the same way love 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 the details and here it says Fendi right there it's very hard to show right here Fendi and on this clasp you can actually undone this part but I didn't really do that and peekaboo the name of it it just when it falls down like so that's what they say that and there is a older version of this handbag this is a newer uh, style that they came out at Fendi 
The one that was that is the older model is the smooth finish kind of more like shiny looking to me and I really like that one actually I was thinking of getting that one before I went into the store I was thinking of getting that finish uh, calf leather which doesn't have this um, line right here uh, I was thinking of getting the beige with the blue lining um, but that was the last year model so they didn't have it and they don't make it anymore so yeah it was yeah anyways that was that and when I saw this color I was kept saying to myself you already have Montaigne and that's pink so why would you go for another pink uh, so I kept just telling myself don't go for it don't go for it so but I went since it's just so beautiful and pink I just cannot resist um, love it and it's very easy to get in and out of this handbag and you can also close on the top of it it's very interesting and I love that feature like so so let me show you guys what can fit in here first I have this toiletry pouch that's the size 19 that fits in quite nicely right there and just I brought this for you guys if you guys uh, carry this full size sunglasses case then it fits right in and still there is some space right there uh, that was just to show you guys because I do have this sunglasses case so I will put that in there and I will use my new Sarah wallet this is the limited edition uh, illustration evasion collection Sarah wallet right there fits nicely there and you can also have your agenda mm size mm which i'm not gonna carry but it fits right in on the that side for you to carry the mini pochette in here i don't really think you can do that you take this off and put it in there and on the top of it it does but yeah you can do that this handbag is not a light uh, bag for the weight okay there is the phone it just went in there so that's that that's what it can carry just comfortably um, it's not stretching out or anything so but this handbag just like I said um, it's not a light handbag like canvas of course right because it's full leather and it does have suede uh, lining so okay so what I will always carry in this bag is my full size Sarah right here and I will carry my sunglasses case and I will have my mini pochette right here and I can have this um, toiletry size 19 and I have my shawl right here this is a denim shawl in pink so I will wear it tonight so I can put that on the side or on the top of it right here right so I wouldn't really close actually um, I don't know yeah so let me show you guys quickly how it looks um, on me I'm just wearing a very casual outfit um, so it looks like so. Can you guys see that? Um, the side, love it. The top handle, one handle. That's the one of the difference between the Montaigne, I guess, right? It has two top handle, which kind of clops down there, but it just stand up right there, so it's very easy. Um, and you can hold it this way. The size, can you guys tell that? It's a perfect size for me. Um, not 
that's how it looks like with the shoulder strap I have the shoulder strap setting on the third one out of one, two, three, four, five, so eight, no, seven. So that's seven holes, seven holes right here, and I have it a uh, third from the top. So there's a lot of um, options. So that's that. That's that's my favorite way to carry. Normally, I. I carry a lot of times like this way. I am more like top handle lady. <laughs> so I carry this, this, and this, and my son, when I have to hold him, I just pop that on right here. And this shoulder strap is pretty thick and um, wide. So it's very very comfortable on your shoulder and I don't know it to me it makes the bag looks a little more casual I will say because it's pretty thin I mean thicker the wider the older model is um, a little thin thinner than this one so well I mean that doesn't really change right just the uh, difference uh, that I found that's that So it looks like so. It's so beautiful and well made and it doesn't scream any, um, you know, brand. There's four feet down here, says Fendi, engraved. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous handbag. Um, I believe this is not going to be my last time uh, purchasing from Fendi. I was very impressed. And yeah, I love all this stitching. I just can talk more and more about this handbag, I guess. I should stop here because I need to go get my son. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you guys have any questions about this handbag, please let me know in the down below. And I will get back to you very soon. Thank you.